Bienvenido a la Granja Gilman, mi familia. For those that don't know, my name is Rob Mathias. I'm the owner and operator of Hostel Del Funk, a mobile hostel and cafe. Uh, I want to give you a tour of my schoolie. Now, I'm about 80%, 75% done with my schoolie. I'm currently, we're on the Gilman Farm in Exeter, New Hampshire. We just threw a huge uh, weekend-long party for uh, Jim's 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Love you, brother. And um, we're here on the Gilman Farm. I'm currently standing on the second floor of my hostel. Uh, thanks uh, to a huge part to Jay Neum for getting this, uh, this roof rack on here for me, which is on the second floor of my hostel. Um, with this, uh, so besides being a, ho a mobile hostel, I'm also a mobile cafe, $5 cold brew coffees all day long. I have two huge 10 by 20 purple pop-ups. I want to get awnings on the side of the bus. That's coming. Um, but uh, I do $5 cold brew coffees and pastries and stuff like that. But I also do a mobile hostel. Have the ability to hook up about eight to 10 hammocks around the side of the bus on both sides. Um, also four solar panels right here as well. And uh, I'm also, because I'm always at music festivals vending, I would love this, uh, cause I, I got this up at the end of the year, I haven't been able to really use it. I literally only had this roof rack on for like two weeks, maybe three. Um, but I would love to use it as like a, a side stage or a late night acoustic set on Vendor Row on Shakedown Street. Think, good things are coming. But uh, I do have to walk through this wires really quick. Unfortunately, that's where I'm parked. So I am next to the uh, Sabo stage here on the Gilman Farm. Uh, Mountain Pound killed it during the weekend. Killed it. So did Aaron, uh, uh, Aaron and Claire and uh, Ira. They all played. They killed it as well. But give me one moment. I just got to get down this ladder. There we go. Oh, by the way, can you believe it? I got the funk plate. I can't believe I got that. Oh, check out Riker. Hey, Riker. Hey, buddy. Now, sit, Riker. Sit. 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 Now, if you haven't noticed, Riker's got an accident. He had an accident here on the farm not too long ago. Cost me a pretty penny to fix him up. But he's pushing my departure back a little bit. I plan... By the way, I'm, I am planning an overlanding expedition to Costa Rica. Been there a few times. And, uh... I'm driving this from New Hampshire all the way down to Costa Rica at the beginning of the year in January. That's the goal. I hope I make it. I'm 99% sure I will unless something catastrophic happens. Um, so anyways, this is the storage. This is one of two uh, huge doors I got. I can fit all of Hostel Bill Funk underneath this. So I can fit my two, pop, uh, my two huge uh, 10 by 20 pop-ups, all my tables and chairs, everything underneath my bed, which I think is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so this is Hostel Bill Funk stuff. I'm gonna walk a little bit back so you can see what it looks like. Um, this is just one side. I got two hammocks up right now. Oh, check this out. During the party, during Mountain Pound set, I took the stop sign off my schoolie and I painted it right here. It was incredible. I did an amazing pour over on it. Um, I have two hammocks hooked up right now. Um, oh, I'm also selling vacation packages uh, to Envision and Jungle Jam and whatnot. You can sleep in my hammock. Now the hammock with the bug screening is a premium. All right, uh, you can uh, uh, throw your stuff in my bus. I'm someone you can trust in a foreign country. You can use my solar to charge your phone. Hell, um, two people can go up on the roof rack and watch the sunset, or one person can do yoga as the sun's rising. And I'll give you a cup of coffee in the morning. Hostel Del Funk, a mobile hostel and cafe. All right, um, but uh, again, uh, the roof rack up on top, Big thanks to uh, Janie for helping me out. I love that roof rack. And uh, speaking of other people helping, this, this is a metal fabricated door that uh, John Ball uh, made for me. Uh, we took the original windows off the original door. Locking me mechanism and everything. Incredible, right? Rick Naya helped me paint this bus white. It was originally blue. Came out fantastic. Well, let me uh, give you a tour of the inside. Oh, I'm also been... Um, uh, keeping uh, Polaroids over my entire trip. I actually started uh, with Polaroids from uh, Costa Rica. I'm trying to do like a whole like circle moment going all the way back to Costa Rica. That's the goal anyways. But I'm going to start in this corner right here. I don't have um, I don't have a ceiling up yet. That's why I'm almost done. I got tapestries hiding the insulation, but it is all insulated. Uh, I have a fridge right there too. 
Um, but I've been collecting show posters in my electrical, this is my electrical closet. I need to finish this. I haven't finished it yet. Um, but I, I do plan to do that. Oh, I saw my gym bays down there. I'm a gym bay player. Um, but this is my, uh, my love shrine. And, uh, the name of us, his name is Govinda. Rate, rate, Govinda. Govinda, rate. Um, I also have, uh, so up here in New Hampshire, in the festival scene, artists make these pins. Cheryl, uh, Cheryl and Susan are big artists that do it. Others do it as well. I started doing it this year. Um, wow, that's where you see his manifest love. Uh, my Hasso del Funk Piedra Vida pin, Gilman Farm 2018 pin. Um, but uh, this, the, the pins on the bottom are my a collection from last year. These are all my collection from this year. And it's a, it's a, it's a door to my uh, uh, cabinet. I, oh, I took the, um, the electrical uh, claw, uh, panel off. I did a pour over on it. I repainted it, put it back up. It turned out fantastic. Uh, I repurposed the mirror that was over the driver's seat. It's just like my personal mirror. Like it's perfect uh, spot for it. Um, oh, this is a collaborative painting I did with the legendary Steve Paquin, which I'm actually holding on to his pin collection right here. <laughs> FYI. Um, but we did the, uh, this was my pour over and I had him uh, paint my bus. It was, a, uh, it was a bar we made um, on the hill at Jerry Jam, overlooking the stage with all these VW buses in my schoolie with Hasso Del Funk set up. Um, this is Tree McCowles, who's she's an inspirational artist here in New Hampshire. She lit, the inspiration for this painting literally drove her bus into my painting. It wasn't even planned. And another cabinet. I also took the uh, Thomas sign off the back of the bus. Did a, uh, did a pour over at the same time as the electrical part. Uh, wove the, this LED through the drill holes. I think it turned out fantastic. And again, it's also a uh, um, another cabinet. And I have these magnets down here too. So when I'm driving, they, they, they stay shut. Uh, I also have a full-size closet right here. Full-size closet. I have... Uh, oh, this fell down. I have a couch right here with uh, storage underneath, which is fantastic. Um... My cold brew system is literally sitting right there. Oh, here. Here is the uh, the painting. I think it turned out fantastic. Like, what do you guys think? Like, I, I've seen a lot of schoolie art, but I think I'm killing it with the schoolie art right now. Uh, so this isn't even done yet. What I plan to do with this painting, I want to do an image transfer. I want to take an outline of North America. I want to put it on top of this. And then every stop I go between here and Costa Rica and back pretty much forever, as long as I'm driving in North America, anywhere I stop, I'm going to mark my stops on my stop sign. Um, yeah, the regreso a Costa Rica. Uh, ocho, uh, ochenta cinco dias. Oh, I had enough extra paint to actually do another paint because I had so much extra paint. I did an extra one. And this is a uh, hand-carved wooden ohm that I got on the beach in the Minical. And every time I paint, I sp uh, dribble, drizzle uh, the paint uh, from the paintings onto it. So it's always changing and moving, which is, uh, you know, that's my little thing I do as a painter. And this is like my, my shit to do list, uh, plan overlanding expedition to Costa Rica. Uh, but that is my schoolie. I got my, Oh, I got my queen size mattress with all my storage underneath. Um, I'm leaving in 85 days. I hope to be in, uh, Costa Rica no later than envision. All right. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're up here in new England, any nor'easter, you know, you're up here in March and you see me on a beach in a minute, and you're looking out the side of the window at a nor'easter. Just think to yourself, 10 bucks a night, you can be sleeping in my hammock on any beach I'm at. All right. Much love, family. Peace.